All right, so I want to make Venom, uh, at least his head, because the CGI model of him we've seen in the film, just, it's really growing on me. And I just, I just had an idea for how it could be done. And I wanted to see what it looked like in, in three dimensions. I was thinking I'd do a tutorial, but I don't really know what I'm doing with his head yet. So I will guess I'll just make everything up as I go. And uh, maybe you guys will get it, even if I don't, right? Okay, so I've done a few drawings here of Venom from different angles, uh, specifically his head. You know, I haven't finished his body yet, but that can come later. I kind of know what colouring I'm going to be doing based on this. So I guess I'll just take a few hours to play around with some paper and create some shapes and see what I can pull together. Hopefully we can make this work. And here is what I have come up with so far. I think I got this. So let's talk about how to make Venom's head out of paper. First off, I make all my characters in a 1 to 8 scale, meaning they are 8 times smaller than they would be in real life, if they were real. Originally in the comics, Eddie Brock was listed as 6 foot 3. In the new film, he's looking to be about 8 feet tall, but I don't like it. I'm sick of all these CGI characters needing to be like 8 feet tall just because they can be. But now 6 foot 3 feels kind of short, so I guess he'll be 26.8 centimeters making him about 215 centimeters if he were in full scale. The point is that now this means his head will be 3.5 centimeters long, 2.3 centimeters wide, and 3.2 centimeters deep. So then, step one, we make the structure pieces like this to ensure we can most accurately keep those dimensions. I have two here, one for the length of the head and another for the height and width of the head. The shape of these is just the exact same shape I drew in my drawing since that is what I am aiming to create here. Just draw the shape flip it over and trace it onto the other side leaving this long strip in the middle connecting the two sides then fold it all down and tape it together so you're left with something like this uh, the the next structure piece is a little bit incoherent but this will form the curve of his mouth basically this top part will be glued to the bottom of this other structure piece and then it will fold around like this with this other part sliding into uh, a cut that i'll make in this structure piece so that will get cut here and then that will get glued in there so here i've just realized that i'm making it more complicated than it needs to be so forget about that i'm just gonna rip this little bottom piece off just making this up as i go i don't really have a plan here Alright, so glue that onto the bottom, and then just fold this strip around to the bottom where it'll attach to the bottom piece of card thing, and so you end up with this. And then we need to add this other structure piece to the top here, which means we need to cut out two little strips of paper, allowing room for the other structure piece to go into that slot. Add some glue, and then just put it on. Done! Okay, so it's time to do the jaw. Now looking at this Titan face here as a reference, the idea is to have the jaw attached to a pin running through the mouth here, and then have the pivot of that pin attached to the base of the skull. Start with a double layered pin about 2.3 centimeters wide, same as this part, color it. Now add a pivot around that pin that is 9 millimeters wide. Then wrap that with a piece of card the same width. This will be the tongue, color it. Now just make two little T-joints that will both fit around this big pin here. These ones are 3mm wide and the length, it doesn't matter since we're going to trim it down later. And then we get to make the jaw. It's basically going to start as a piece like this, and this has also been precisely measured to match my blueprint. Uh, the length of the first section is 1.4mm, the same as the first part of the jaw. The next part is 9mm, the same as the second part of the jaw. And the width of this bottom piece in both key areas matches the width of the front view in both of those areas. That's it. That's how I figure out the size of each part. I just start with the exact measurements that I know, and then for the more abstract shapes, like the sides here that will make up the, the look of the jaw, I just guess. And then I try it out, I make the adjustments, and then I guess again. So this will fold under around, meeting with the sides, and then this top part will fold over at the top. And really the final part of the jaw is just going to be tracing the ends of the pin here, and then those circles traced will be cut out on the sides of the jaw here, and then that will just be glued around like that on either side. Done. Do make sure to actually slide all the things going around the pin on first before you glue the other side though, because you want them to be attached. Now done. 
Oh, so I just had a great idea. These two levers here that are meant to be sticking to the head for the jaw should be drawn as the pink stretchy flesh parts that, ha that come like on the side of Venom's mouth when he opens his mouth really wide, usually to bite someone's head off. So I've colored in a piece of paper that looks like those flesh parts, and I'm just wrapping that around the levers here. Then I trim the lever down to size, it's about a centimeter long. Those levers will have additional tubes of paper wrapping around them. And those two tubes will just be glued to the back of the head here, right behind this center structure piece. And that's it, this is the basic structure of Venom's head. You can already see the shape is really there. So now we just need to make it look pretty. All right, so the neck joint, make a pin like this. First layer is two centimeters wide. The next layer, it's irrelevant. You're gonna trim it down later anyway. Then have a pivot rotating around that pin. This one's nine millimeters wide. Then we have a piece of card wrapping around that pivot. Then we have a pin here, glue that tube inside here, creating the lever and wrap a piece of card around that pin, gluing it from both sides, and make sure the card is long enough so each side of that piece of card will just be stuck to the head, and it will kind of slot into that gap behind his jaw. Uh, and this is just the best way I could think of to do this. Good enough. And now it's time for the fun part where we can actually make him look like Venom. First, the teeth. Basically just have a strip of paper like this. It's about four centimeters wide. Then draw the teeth in, ink the teeth, Cut out the teeth, and then color the teeth in too. And the gums. Uh, and don't forget to leave a few little strips of paper around the bottom so they can actually be stuck onto the structure piece so the teeth are kind of elevated from the mouth. Easy. Oh, and it's the same deal for the top teeth too. Just stick it on. The next part is probably the most difficult, and this is the part I can't really help you with. You just have to be creative and try out for yourself. So to add the skin for his round, bald head, it'll just be a single piece like this with dozens of gaps in the paper that will be brought together to form the round shape of his head. So you cut out these little triangle shaped gaps and when you bring the paper together, it's naturally, it's gonna round. That's the point of that. Uh, and this is where the structure pieces are key because that's your starting point. Uh, you know the way the head is supposed to curve and how, how big it's meant to be. So, and so now I just need to cut that open, trace it down into a fresh piece of paper. I'm using some blending cards. So it's a little thicker and it holds the ink better when coloring. And that's it, just color, 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 done then just fiddle around for like 30 minutes as I probably will to bring all these gaps together and just make it look neat and add your sticky tape and do whatever you have to do to get it to stick over the head. Really hard to do, I think, uh, but it looks good. Finally, we have the eyes. There's two of them. And you'd make this the way you think. Just draw it, cut it out and stick it on. Of course, though, I have a need to complicate things, so I added a few small cuts to the eyes to curve the shape a bit. And I cut out a chunk of his face down here, so the black parts below his eyes are actually overlapping the eye itself. This is just more accurate to how it looks in the film, and it adds a little more depth. Does anyone else think he's looking like an orca right now, a killer whale, with the white jaw down here? I guess you could say he's a one-eyed willy. <laughs> All right, and here he is with the eyes. They actually ended up, well, they actually ended up quite a bit bigger than I was expecting, but um, I love this look. Orca Venom, guys, that's, that's, that's a thing. He went from the Batman who laughs to a one-eyed willy to gang Orca Venom. Yeah, getting tired now, let's just, let's just get him done. And the final, final part is adding a black piece around his jaw. Again, I left this as a separate piece so there's a slight gap between his teeth and the external part of his mouth to add more depth and please my meticulous nature. Finished! And that's it. This is the Venom head. That's all I've got to show you today. I uh, can definitely still do a little bit more work like add another piece of paper in here that's colored red and it's got some details in to look like the roof of his mouth. Another one in the in the lower jaw down here. I was even thinking about adding like another row of teeth, but uh, but that, that'll do for now. I could go on forever just adding all these other little things to, to make it. Like there's never really an end point. There's never really a point where I run out of ideas or how to do something. It's kind of just the finishing point is just when I consciously decide that's enough or I've had enough. Thank, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this Venom. I happen to think it's uh, really good. Like. I'm much happier with this than the Thanos head. I think it just it captures the likeness of the character quite a bit better and look at that smile. Like I didn't think that the way I shaped it he'd have such a good smile. Ah, I love it. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye. Ow.